is Menson Rage here in Nishi Ogikubo, and I'm here with Cody from Ramen Guy Japan and Michael oh, over there, <laughs> over there, over there, uh, aka the Noodle Slurp. And we just went to Menson Rage, I think one of the legendary shops here in Tokyo that every ramen head should go to. And actually, it's my first time, so I mean, I don't know what I'm talking about. But we went here actually for Michael's last bowl, at least I think for now, for a while. And uh, he's heading back to the States. And uh, if you're in New York, maybe hit him up and uh, show him around, uh, show him a, little, a couple of good ramen bowls. I'm sure he'll appreciate it. Hit him up on Instagram. But let's talk a little bit about men's on rage. What did we get today? We had the first a gente bowl that is usually not on the menu. And uh, I had the mazasoba and you got the tsukemen. Mm -hmm. So let's, uh, yeah, let's maybe start with the gente. What did we, what did we get today, Cody? Uh, yeah, they had like a special paitan niboshi gente. Um, I'm guessing they just had paitan soup left over. And so they just threw a bunch of niboshi in it. I quite liked it. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of paitan, but with the added niboshi, I thought it had a lot of like complex flavors and pretty good. And then we got the mazasoba, at least uh, two of us did. So what did you think about the mazasoba? Um, I mean, I've had the mazasoba before. It's one of my favorite bowls of mazasoba uh, in the world. Uh, they put this sort of smoked egg yolk on top that gives the whole, whole bowl this like really beautiful smokiness and uh, it's awesome. Yeah, I can just um, repeat what both of them said. Um, the niboshi bowl was quite interesting, um, full of um, not only the niboshi notes, but also the, the animal notes that you have from the, the uh, python stock that they used together with the niboshi. So that was pretty good. Um, I think the whole atmosphere in the, uh, in the ramen shop is super interesting. Um, they work together with an interesting artist. I think you know who that is, right? Yeah, I can't think of the Instagram Okay, right now. Um, I'll ask you later and I'll put the link down below. So their, uh, their whole interior is full of interesting art. And then also the mazasoba bowl, super interesting. I think the, the uh, egg yolk is, is smoked and cured. So it, it has like this really creamy texture and uh, also an, an quite intense saltiness. If you mix it up a little bit, it gets uh, mellows out a little bit. But if you just try it like this, it's, it's quite intense. And overall, I think the whole thing here is is really well thought out, super refined, and yeah, definitely a go-to for every ramen fan out there. And uh, quick rating, I mean, do we even have to ask what the rating here is? Um, yeah? yeah? <laughs> sure. Um, I think probably five out of five, 10 out of 10. Yeah, I mean, yeah. especially for, for the shop as a whole. I mean, they have so many different bowls, all of them are plus yeah so i think um probably everybody has a different favorite bowl at this place they have mazasoba they have regular ramen tsukemen um there's something here for everyone and everything is excellent i think there's no questions about it and um yeah again thanks to especially michael today for uh, joining us and uh, all the best Thank you. in the states and hope to see you soon back yeah. here again in, in japan and maybe you know we'll hear some of his exploits from uh, new york uh, in the future hopefully and check out ramenguidejapan.com for ramen reviews. And if you like my videos, click like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one.